Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Well, today we're gonna to do something special. I got a knife right here, and what you see quite often on knives is that the handle is wrapped in paracord, right? Now, that involves a twisting rope and wrapping it around an object. That's what we're gonna do in Maya today, right? Here we go. This video has been sponsored by Bloop Animation. If you want to learn 2D or 3D animation, the principles of any animation, storyboarding foundations, or even how to create an entire animated movie, then just follow the link in the description and you will get a begin to end course while supporting my channel at no extra expense to you. Okay everybody, so let's have some fun. Well, before I get started, a lot of you guys commented that you couldn't see my mouse cursor. Well, guess what? Here it is. Finally got some feedback from the Filmora people what the problem was and it's uh, fixed. So yay, right? Okay, so on to today's tutorial. Um, we got a knife here that's wrapped with paracord. Now what I want to show you guys in this video is how to twist rope and then put it on an object. Let's say like a handle like that, right? So that's kind of the idea. Now um, what we're going to do is we're going to go in here to let's just play with our perspective view here right so what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and i'm going to start by creating a helix so i'm going to go up to uh, create we're going to go to polygon primitives and uh, let's go and create a helix all right now let's say that's going to be our initial rope setup right so what we're going to do is we're going to control a to open up the attribute editor we're going to go in to polyhelix one and we're going to tweak that a little bit we're going to change the height Let's do something like this. We'll change the amount of coils quite a bit because it's supposed to be a rope at some point, right? And we're going to only use one edge of this helix, so not the whole thing, okay? So we have that. Let's see. Uh, we can change the radius. Let's set that to 0 0.1 so we have a better idea of what's going on. And we can make it a bit more dense, right? Uh, we can tweak the height, push it down so it looks a little bit more like a wrap, like that. There you go. Maybe tweak that radius a bit more. Let's do, let's keep it at 0 0.1. Okay. So you get the idea, right? Okay. Now, uh, let's say this is our rope. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to hit R and we're going to kind of push that in like this. Nothing crazy. Just so you can imagine that being wrapped on the handle of a knife, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to select just the outer edge. So we're going to right click, go to edge, and we're going to go in here and we're going to select just this guy. All right. Now we want it to be selected all the way down. So hit F to frame that. And we're going to shift select the next one and double click. Now as I zoom out a little bit and hit four for wireframe mode, you'll see that that's the only edge that has been selected. Now with that edge selected, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to uh, modify, we're going to go to convert, and then we're going to convert um, the, uh, let's see, where is that? The, the, the polygon edge to curve, okay? Now if we open up the option box here, we get a couple of options, <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, we're going to go with best guess, we're going to go with three cubic, right? Don't worry about that too much, just go with that, right? So we're going to click on convert. Now, now that we've done that, I can now go in and select my original helix and hit delete. And what will be left is that curve. And that's what we want for our exercise here. Okay. Now, what comes in next is something that I explained in a previous video. And I'll put a link in the top right corner so you can get that plugin installed if you don't have it just yet. It's a free plugin. You can get it off of the Autodesk site. And that's all explained in that video, right? Okay, so what we're going to do with this edge selected here is we're going to go up to uh, Create, Wire Tools, and Wire Mesh from Curve. And like I said, if you don't have that in your menu, then follow the video on the top right corner. Okay, so let's click on that. Now we'll get a huge mesh right here, but we'll get that sorted. All right, we're going to go into the settings, and we're going to go to Wire Shape 1. Uh, where do you go? Warm Mesh Creator. Here we go. And let's start by tweaking this a little bit, right? Because right now it looks really funky and off and whatnot. Uh, let's see the steps here. We're going to tweak that. We're going to 
bring that up a little bit. Skill is very important because you probably think it looks like rubbish, but hang on, right? So skill is uh, down a lot. We're gonna increase this again. So let's go to 200 steps. There you go. And we're gonna uh, tweak the scale a bit. Let's see. Because we want it to look like a rope. Okay, and what I'll do is I'll hit five here so we can see it better. So we're starting to get there. Let's tweak that scale a bit more. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this guy in a second, right? So first we're going to do is we're going to go in here and go up and we're going to increase the number of sides to make it look something more like a rope. Let's go with maybe eight. Okay, so eight's fine. I'm going to scrub down here. Number of steps seems to be okay. Let's go profile. Uh, we're going to go a bit smaller because like I said, we're going to multiply that. And then there you go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to enable pattern up here. Now, once I do that, you now see that I got five of these and you can choose five or three or whatever you want. So let's try, let's do four for now. So we've got four, right? And let me just increase those steps so it looks a bit smoother. There you go. Just looks better that way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the twist section down here, right? Now I want this to twist, and it's not going to twist that much. It's only going to go to 360, but we're going to bump that way up. Let's go to 7,200 and hit enter, right? Now, as you can see, it's starting to twist around and around exactly the way you like it. And now we can start to tweak this. So, for example, I can go in here, number of profiles, let's try six, all right? Starting to look a lot more dense, if you will, right? Now, we can tweak that number of, uh, let's see, I think sides, that's fine. Number of sub-profiles, I think that is okay too. The skill, maybe just a little. I mean, you can go overboard, but it will cut into itself, so don't do that, right? So let's leave it at that. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. Oh, let's not go nuts on that. Let's go back, back, back. Let's try 0 0.055. Let's try 0 0.07. There you go. Not bad. So that would totally work as a wrap, right? So you could then go and, uh, let's see, go into a polygon primitive and take a cylinder and then from the top, go in here, hit F to frame, 4 for wireframe mode, and just push that guy in like this. So scale the whole thing down a bit. That's about it, right? Let's close this up. It go in here, you would stretch that out, and basically you would get something like this, right? So it's not crazy difficult. It's playing with the settings, a lot more options there, but hopefully this will give you some uh, creative freedom to make something that is uh, completely personal and something that you like, right? Okay, so that's all there's to it, guys. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.